Hey, what's up everyone? This is Donnie Duck Butter. And I injured my knee surfing. Ended up being a grade three full thickness tear. And this is about as close to surfing as I'm gonna get for a while. All right, so one of the reasons why I made this video is because there's not much content out there for a full thickness grade three MCL tear, uh, especially if you're a surfer. Uh, when I go on YouTube, it's mostly just just all this content just kind of lumped into one one video about oh if you have a sprain or a slight tear and then they just give you a bunch of videos and it's not very specific so if you're going through you know through a full thickness tear like I am um, hey hopefully my video can help you but I definitely felt alone when I was just looking for something relatable to someone um, that's maybe going through a very similar injury. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some do's and don'ts and what I've learned so far at the one month mark. Okay, and I know you guys are probably wondering what's going on about the mask. I'm not a very handsome guy, okay? Uh, I've been told that repeatedly and I'm insecure, okay? And Donnie Duck Butter is my real name. It's not easy growing up with the name Donnie Duck Butter. I don't even wanna get into the nicknames I had to go through when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, it's tough and, um, you know, I'm a little insecure. So, you know, just please don't tease. This is a serious video. And again, I'm trying to help people, um, who are going through MCL injuries. Okay. okay so before I go, go down, um, the list is, as far as the things uh, to do and not to do, I'm just going to read my doctor's notes specifically. So, you know, exactly what I'm dealing with. Uh, it says MRI of right knee, full thickness tear of the superficial MCL at his femoral insertion sprain of ACL and cartilage fraying at the patella. All right, so that does not sound good at all. All right, and again, I don't want anyone out there to think that this, this video is specifically just for surfers, okay? But if you are, then, you know, first of all, hey, I'm sorry. If, first of all, if you're even looking at this video, I'm not even gonna explain what an MCL is because if you already looked it up, you already know what it is, right? It's a ligament on the inside of your knee and um, it sucks once it once it goes out. So, you know, a lot of the surf content out there as far as injuries talk more about the ACL, okay? But again, this video isn't, it isn't just if you're a surfer. Maybe you're an athlete who's going through an MCL tear, right? Full thickness tear, um, or you're just an everyday person. But and then again, this, this video should help to at least give you some ideas of what to expect uh, while you're going through right, So this. let me just kind of explain how my injury happened, especially if you're a surfer. So I'm a goofy foot, so I was going front side on the wave and I was just pumping on my board, right? And my front foot literally, literally just slipped off the deck of my board and I got forced into the splits with my right leg. And immediately I just felt the excruciating pain on the inside of my knee. Um, I even tried to surf, I caught two more waves after and I just tried to turn. <laughs> And there, there was just nothing there. I was in denial at first. Um, I really jacked myself up. And, um, you know, I talked to some other people right away and they just said, well, well, you know, if you heard a pop, then, then you know, then you definitely um, tore it or it's serious. But if you didn't hear a pop, then it's probably just, you know, just a sprain or every, everyone's like, oh yeah, you're gonna be fine. Um, so anyway, I was like, okay, you know, I went to the ER and they didn't want to MRI me. I asked for the MRI, so they just gave me an ACE bandage wrap and said, hey, you know, if it doesn't feel better in a week or two, then, um, you know, then give us a call back. Okay, um, it didn't take long. That happened on July 18th on a Saturday. And by Monday, I was calling the, uh, my doctor just trying to get an MRI. So at about the two week mark, I finally got the MRI and then I talked to a nurse before she saw the results. She said the same thing. Oh, it's probably just just a sprain or a tear. You'll be fine. They gave me a sheet of paper with some exercises to do. And then later on that afternoon, they gave me the call and said, yeah, it's a full thickness tear of the MCL. Um, it, it might be surgery or it might be physical therapy, depending on how well you heal. Um, so that was just a big gut punch because I, I had already gone two weeks, you know, uh, roughly on, on, on the injury, um, just not knowing what the hell, you know, what was going on and, and following the videos on YouTube that are just for sprains and tears. So, you know, again, this is another reason why this, you know, this video could be helpful. To show you, this is what I'm looking at. 
All right, I'm just, I can't surf. I'm looking at surfing. I'm elevating my knee. I already iced it. And this is pretty much my surroundings. Don't judge me. I'm poor. I live in a studio apartment. Okay, so tip number one is to get the MRI. Okay, again, don't be like me and let people talk you into it. Like, oh, it's just a sprain. It's a tear. Because honestly, you want to know what you're dealing with first. Okay, I mean, I guess if you already have a full thickness tear and you're watching this, you know, Hopefully you already got your MRI done, but if you're contemplating about whether you need it or not, just get it. Hopefully you have me good medical insurance and it doesn't cost you that much or, you know, you won't go broke over it, but you want to know what you're dealing with. You know, <laughs> I thought it was just a sprain. I, I fooled myself. I was still able to hobble around, thought it was fine and turned out I was probably working against myself. Uh, going back to that. Okay. It's, we're still on, on tip one here. I'd say if you just got the injury, at, at least give it, at least give it a week. Right, because I was already I was walking on it and I was doing all kinds of stuff on my knee. Um, at least wait till the swelling goes down and don't even do any physical therapy like at first. Okay, like at, at least give it a week. I talked to other people who had knee injuries, not full thickness tears of the MCL, but they even said that their doctors put them in full leg braces and that they weren't even supposed to move for six weeks. Um, this is my first time time dealing with this. No doctors told me that. That sounds pretty excessive. But I'd say, at, you know, don't just start attacking it from the get-go right, right after the injury. All right, tip number two. Um, if you're a fairly active person like I am, it's hard to be sitting down, just elevating your leg and being injured. So if you're, you know, Mr. or Miss Active and always doing stuff and hiking and surfing or, you know, playing sports, you got to turn it off. I know it's hard, but but you got to do it. Um, before I even had the MRI, you know, like I said, I was, I, was, I was about maybe two weeks until I had the MRI, you know, into my injury. And I was still going down to my garage. I got a little workout weight set, you know, and I was doing, you know, three sets of like six different exercises on top of the physical therapy videos, you know, twice a day that I got off of YouTube thinking like, oh yeah, you know what? Like, uh, uh, I'm just, I'm too hardcore to just sit down and do nothing. You know, and, and I'm so active that I'm, you know, I'm going to beat this. I'm going to work out. Um, that was a bad idea. I attacked it way too aggressive um, that, in fact, by the time I actually did see the orthopedic doctor to go over my MRI three weeks into my, my injury, he was shocked. He was like, yeah, it, it looks like it hasn't healed at all since you got injured. You should have had some kind of progress by now. And, and that's why he's leaning more towards surgery even though we're gonna give physical therapy a chance. So just trust me, I know it's hard, especially if you're active, but don't be too aggressive. If you've already watched a bunch of YouTube videos, um, it seems boring when, when you're looking at the exercises and they're just sitting on their butt and, and you know, yeah, the heel slides, oh, that, that, looks, that looks boring. Like, you know, just turn it off. You gotta rest and you really, really have to take that load off of your knee, all right? So turn it off. Don't be hyperactive, okay? So just get that out of your mind right now. Focus on healing and not trying to, to think that you can just will the need to heal, you know, just by working out, all right? So just chill. Okay, this is going to sound repetitive, but the whole RICE acronym, you know, rest, ice, and elevate your knee. Excuse me. Yeah, it's, it's, it sounds boring, right? Like, I don't know how much you think. You know, at first, it sounds boring and like, ah, you know, how much, how much do I really need to do that? Um, the truth is, it does help a lot. I, I'm really at a point. Again, I'm I'm 30 days into my injury. Um, anytime that I'm I'm sore or anytime I'm doing something, walking around, you know, even though I shouldn't be, I really break it up. I try to at at the very least three times a day, right? Like like me right now, I'm sitting on the couch, right, and I got my leg up. I already finished icing it. I say at least get three ice packs, and you know just try to keep them in rotation make sure that they're nice and cold but you really got to do it you got to elevate your leg you got to rest and you got to ice it right they say that um bones heal faster than the ligaments because the ligaments don't have as much of the blood supply so that's why you got to elevate your leg right to kind of you know increase the healing all right that was step three now step four is to pace yourself again i know this sounds redundant um you know, but here's an example. Just just the other day, uh, I think in, in the morning I was 
Oh, I did laundry in the morning. That's right. Yesterday I went to the laundromat and then I should have rested after that. But you know what I said? Hey, I'm making burritos tonight, right? I'm married, surprisingly, right? And it was my turn to cook dinner. And I was like, you know what? To save myself the, the trouble, I'm going to pick the cilantro and I'm going to cut the onions. And I'm going to cut the bell peppers and I'm just going to, I'm going to pre-cook everything. So there I was on my feet and I was having a good day. But by the time I was done with that, my knee was just done. I, I mean, I, I'm it's a day later and and i can still feel the effects of my knee right now so um you really got to break up your routine so if you do have some errands to do or you're doing stuff around the house like just break it up you don't have to do everything at, at one shot that you know break it up and that's a good time like right now i just i went to the hospital right now or the, the clinic to get my blood drawn for an appointment i have next week i came back home and the first thing i did was elevate and ice my leg you know and then i'm going to try to do my little workout routine right after this Okay, so make sure you pace yourself because if you don't, it's going to be maybe noon and you're just done for the day. You won't be able to be on your knee without pain. Tip number five, right? You got to get crutches and you got to be using your knee brace, okay? If, if you're around the house, you got to have that knee brace on, okay? I can understand if you're lying down, if you're sitting down, it's uncomfortable to wear it, take it off. But if you got to walk, you know, from point A to point B, wherever that may be, I'm telling you, keep the strain off of that knee um, to help you heal and crutches also um, this is the first time in my life that I have used crutches and crutches crutches suck I freaking hate crutches but you know to get between my apartment door to my garage door or to my car like just to use those crutches and to save the strain on my knee I mean th those that's a distance that I have to go without having to put pressure on my on my knee and this is it's only going to help your recovery so yeah that's why you want to get that mri done figure out what you got see your see your orthopedic doctor and then you know get that knee brace and then get those crutches and that's a good segue into step number six which is what to expect <laughs> if you don't do some of these things so like i said the first two weeks i didn't see a doctor uh all i had was an ace bandage wrap okay so what happens is your good knee my left knee is my good knee that knee is going to start giving out because you're going to be putting that that good knee is going to be putting or bearing a lot of the weight and it's going to be um, compensating you know for your bad knee okay so you know that's why you want to follow some of these other tips that, that, I, that I told you because if you want to tough it out um, you're only going to make it worse for your good knee and then what happened was when I actually got my knee brace from the doctor I switched the ace bandage wrap um, to my good knee and then Later on, they gave me another good knee brace with uh, the hinges in it. And then I was using my old knee brace, you know, for my good knee. And I was walking around with two knee braces. Okay, so um, again, right, your good knee is going to go out if you don't follow these steps or if you don't take care of yourself from the get-go. Okay, and here's another thing to expect. Uh, when you start feeling like you are healing a little bit and like you could hobble around a little bit. And like me, my, my good knee is actually better and i started to push it a little bit and maybe walk a little bit more than i should have then all the you know and even if your mcl feels good every other muscle around that knee is going to start getting sore if you're pushing it too hard so again mcl injury but everything else around your knee whether it's the acl um lcl like the cartilage just the joints just just that area it's, it's going to suffer okay so that's why you know you do want to take it easy